Hello guys, I'm Thomas and today I shall be showing you how to make a cheap and very effective uh, tea light heater or some people call it a Cornish heater depending on where you're from um, and it is very easy to make. Uh, this is what we're aiming for and these are the parts you will need to complete. Uh, four tea lights uh, is what I'll, which I'll be using per lamp. These actually burn for eight and a half hours each. Uh, you can get ones which are half as deep which only run for about four hours. Uh, I'm going for an all day effect, so uh, they're eight and a half hour burn time. You will also need six of these 50 millimeter washers, which are an M12 uh, fitting, uh, ideally situated for this uh, 30 centimeter M12 threaded rod uh, to go through. Um, on top of that, you'll also need four of these M12 bolts. I've gone for stainless steel, uh, because they're better than ones that aren't stainless steel and I don't want them to rust and uh, just for, because it looks a little bit nicer I went for a dome nut for the top just because it looks a little bit nicer than the others so um, that is all you need I have gone for some pots here they're terracotta I don't obviously use plastic ones um, now I've gone for some seven inch ones they're just a little bit uh, less than seven inches and um, it's actually 17.1 centimeters and this is 23 centimeters which is around nine inches now you do need one of the pots to fit quite snugly inside the other pot like so um for this to be effective so um i will put a link down below in the uh, comments and in the description of where you can buy every single one of these pieces okay there is nothing technical about this whatsoever all you need is your hand basically um, one thing I will say, the little pot, which is uh, incidentally a 14 inch pot, 35.7 centimeters. This is basically like a little, um, like a little terracotta tray that your plant pot would normally sit in uh, for watering purposes. But we're not using that for, uh, for that purpose today. This actually doesn't come with a hole. Uh, so I've had to drill this myself. I've just used a hole saw. You can do it yourself with a little bit of water and a screwdriver. Uh, when this is uh, wet, it gets quite soft. Uh, it's like a brick, really. Um, so you can work it quite nicely, but don't push too hard. Take your time. If you push too hard, you might crack it, and then it's no good to anyone. So I'm going to uh, show you how I go about putting this together. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, basically, is set up the top part of the, uh, the lamp. Uh, which will have your dome nut on the top. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just thread on the dome nut onto my M12 threaded bolt and, uh, and crack on with that. Any bits which you can see what's going on, I don't need to talk. I'll just fast forward through a little bit perhaps. Uh, so it's not so boring for you. So let's get on with that now, shall we? Okay, make sure it's on there nice and tight because you don't really want to have to be handling any of these bolts once you've got the lamp all together. Uh, it literally only takes about five minutes to uh, build, so let's crack on. Give it a nice tight in there, and then you're gonna need to put one of your washers on. Excellent. So you'll notice you've got a hole in the bottom of the terracotta pot. This just literally slides straight through, like so, and you've got your pot just there. We then need to add another washer, okay? Because we're going to bolt this up uh, with one of these M12 bolts. Jobs are good then. Right, and then we take one of these little M12 standard nuts. The thread isn't great on these rods, by the way, so uh, just have to work it a little bit. And, uh, I'll fast forward this bit while I whisk this all the way down the bottom. Okay, so once you've got to this stage, you should have it screwed down uh, nicely up against your washer. I'm just gonna nip this tight. You don't wanna do it too tight, because um, it's obviously terracotta or porcelain or whatever you're using. Um, if you do it too tight, you might shatter it. So just nip it up tight enough so it doesn't wobble around. Okay, so now that's done, you've got that all nice and secure in there. You'll want to add another little one of these washers on there. And then you're going to want to place your smaller of the terracotta pots onto this pole just here, onto this rod. Okay, you can see it's got the hole just there again. Nice and easy. So again, I'm gonna put another washer in there. 
with the donut on there, it's a little bit wayward until it's all together nicely. But once that's on there, uh, you can get another one of these washers on. It's quite satisfying to watch it wobble down there. Excellent. So now I'm just going to nip it up with another one of these M12 stainless steel bolts and uh, then we'll crack them with the base. Okay, so now we've nipped this little uh, nut up onto this uh, threaded rod, uh, you will notice that you've got one plant pot securely um, attached inside the other plant pot. There's a little gap in between them uh, made up of the washer and the uh, bolt there, just to give it a little space for some air, um, which will help it to maintain its heat. So let's uh, have a quick look at this. It's all nice and tight. Um, you will notice that you can wobble it about a bit before you nip it up, just to try and get it as straight within the... Uh, the other plant pot as you possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and construct the base now. We are almost finished. Okay, so in order to construct the base, you'll see we've got a terracotta saucer here. Uh, as previously mentioned, this does not come with the hole fitted, so you will need to do that, or you might even find some that do have a hole. Um, but it needs to at least match the M12 thread size of your rod, so it will fit through there. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube actually of how to drill a hole in the terracotta pot, believe it or not. Uh, and that's how I figured out how to do it with a hole saw. Anyway, um, so what we need to do first of all then, we will uh, basically, this widest part of this saucer is at the top of the lip basically. So I want that to be at the bottom so it's as sturdy as can be. Uh, so that will be the bottom of my um, heater. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna thread this on here. Now I need to leave enough space for a, a nut, a washer, another washer, and another nut, uh, without it protruding too far out so that I can't have it stable, okay? So I need it somewhere around there. So I'm just gonna mark it. You can always play around with this um, once you've got it all set up uh, before you nip it up tight. So I'm just gonna crack on with that now. Okay, M12 nut. and the washer and let's see how we are here okay that's probably poking out a little bit too much so I need to wind this back up again and it will all tighten itself when you nip up the last bolt just there so plop your base on we've got one last washer and I should have somewhere 12 uh, an M12 stainless steel bolt and let's see how that goes Okay, don't nip it up too tight because uh, the porcelain may shatter, which you obviously don't want. It just needs to be tight enough that it doesn't come undone. Uh, so now we've got that, I can try and get my hand in here, turn it upside down. Okay, and now you can see we've got a great little uh, tea light heater, all done and dusted. Now, obviously that just took about five, it might have taken 10 minutes because I'll be doing a video, uh, but you can see it's all nice and sturdy and your little tea lights fit in here. And the idea basically is that the the heat from the tea lights will go inside and not only get trapped in between the two layers of your pots, but um, also it will radiate heat. So even after your tea lights are finished, this will maintain heat and radiate it after these are done. So you can get a whole lot of heat out of these things. Obviously do this safely. Um, I'm not a fireman or anything like that, but be sensible and uh, don't do anything silly and make sure that cannot get blown by a breeze or anything like that okay uh, same with any candle uh, because this is fire after all so do be careful i hope you found this helpful if you have don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe if you can and uh, i'll be back with some more stuff soon thank you very much Okay, so I've actually forgotten to uh, tell you where I've got all of the bits from. You might notice from my accent, I'm actually in the UK. Um, there are other videos similar to this, but they all tend to be in America um, or elsewhere. So 
basically this stock list will be for UK um, but all of the parts are all the same throughout the world they just might be called something a little bit different but uh, all of these come from like either one of two places Amazon or B&Q which is like a um, department store for like gardens and homes and stuff uh, almost like a builder's merchant I guess you might call it um, so I have I've made two of these okay um, so all of the parts are doubled but each one of these costs probably about 15 or 20 pounds to construct um, but I've bought two lots together to keep the cost down as well um, so I've got a two times 17.1 uh, centimeters which is about seven inches uh, terracotta pot and two of 23 centimeter pots which is about nine inches because you do want one to fit inside the other one but not snugly and last but not least on those uh, terracotta pieces two of the 35.7 centimeter um, pot saucers and again two of those uh, each of the lights will use uh, only one of each of those pieces okay so one big pot one small pot one saucer um, and also one m12 by 30 centimeter uh, threaded bolt or nut something like that they call it um, all of the bits will be in the description so do check those out um, four times m12 nuts you, these don't have to be stainless steel i just went with stainless because it's a bit nicer isn't it um, and should be a better quality item uh, so four of those m12 nuts and each one of these lamps will also use six of the washers which are 50 millimeter with a m12 aperture so the little hole is big enough uh, basically for an m12 rod which we're sticking through it and the dome nut is also an m12 fitting dome nut as well obviously because that's what size the size the thread is on the uh, on the little rod there so i hope you found that useful i've gone through all this stuff before so i don't need to do it again see you later